we have two swimmers and one of them crosses the river along the straight line ab while the other swims at right angles to the stream and then walks the distance what was the velocity u of his walking if both swimmers reached the destinations simultaneously so one fellow crosses straight and other fellow is swimming at right angles to the direction of water so if this is the river flow velocity so eventual velocity of the first one is directly towards point b so this is the vector sum of v not and v dash so v dash is velocity of men with respect to river in second case he is trying to swim perpendicular to the river so eventual velocity will be along this direction so he is saying that time taken by the first path is same as time taken by the second path and we need to find what is the velocity of him walking so let the time taken by either path be t not in path 1 t not is l upon this velocity and this velocity is v dash sin theta so l by v dash sin theta sin theta we will get from here sin theta is root of 1 minus cos square theta and cos theta you can see is v not upon v dash so this becomes this for path 2 we have we have to calculate time for this and this so for ac so t water plus t land and in water the time taken is l by v dash because its velocity towards l is v dash and time taken on land is drift divided by u and drift is the horizontal velocity times time take time taken to travel from a to c so drift is v not horizontal velocity into time taken which is l by v dash same as this so we'll equate the time in both the cases and we'll get our answer so once more what we did is for ab path the time taken was l upon v dash sin theta and value of theta we could get by cos theta is equal to v not by v dash and in second case in the time taken to swim across is length upon v dash and time taken to walk is drift which is time taken to swim into v not divided by u yeah